Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking what would the peeps do? And this one is called Makeover. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. So, this person writes in that she is literally shaking right now. One of her good friends asked for a favor. She asked if her sister-in-law could stay in her guest room in Miami for her BBL appointment, and she now has a huge regret. She said that she received a text message. The text message said, hi, blank gave me your phone number. I'm such and such as wife. I heard so much about you. She really loves you. She replies, hi there. Hey, she would. I love her too. I've also heard a lot about you as well. Are you super excited for your mommy makeover? She replies, oh my gosh, yes. I feel like I've been planning this forever and it's finally here. I'm sure she probably gave you the rundown, but I land on the 24th. Surgery date is the 26th, but I have pre-op appointments on the 25th. And then February the 1st would be my first and only follow-up before going home. I'm sure this can be stressful, so I literally live right next to the airport. Can you give me the address of your doctor's office so I can see where it is from my place? Sure. Oh wow, that's a 54 minute drive. With traffic, it could be up to an hour and a half. Well, this is what I need obviously a ride from the airport when I get there and then a ride to my pre-op appointment and then for my surgery day and a ride back later that day along with a ride to my only pre-op appointment first. Also then I will need a ride back to the airport when I leave. Hmm, maybe you'd be able to use my car for all of your non-surgery appointments because that's one to three hour journey for me out of my work day, and I do have to work. I work from home, but I wouldn't be able to take this much time out of my day that many days, if that makes sense. Also, so soon, next week? No, I do not drive. I don't have a license either. You couldn't tell your job that you need to take me to the doctors? I mean, for one day, possibly, but you need to go two days in a row, and one day I'd need to wait for you while you got your surgery and then drive you back. Typically, I could take my laptop and work from somewhere, but we're right in the middle of launching a brand new membership, so I'm in meetings constantly all day. You couldn't take an Uber there? I just realized it was in Kendall. What? Uber? An hour 45 away? This whole thing was for me to save money since the operation itself cost me over my budget. I budgeted for a hotel near there, but the procedure ate up into that cost. Really? <laughs> Honey, now listen. Anyway, let's keep going. And also, I'm totally cool with you staying in my guest room for a few, but after surgery, you need to be a caretaker of some sort. I wouldn't be able to do that. Also, would you just DoorDash food to yourself while you're here? How would all of this work? Um, you don't cook? What do you eat? <laughs> oh, no way, okay? Sometimes, but my boyfriend and I go out with friends, go out to eat, do takeout, eat at his mom's. So we need to be in charge of feeding you? Well, you guys are eating anyways. I don't get what the hassle you're making is. David said he could give you $100 to take me to my appointments. I'm sorry. It's not about the money. You caught me at an extremely busy time. Last night I didn't close my laptop until 1.30 a.m. We're about to launch our membership product and I can't risk not being able to make a meeting or something with your doctor's office being that far. I don't want to be mean, but you guys just laid all of this on me last minute. I can't just reorganize my priorities. Wow, so basically, whoever the lady is, lied to me. Cool. Okay. I don't know what she said to you, 
but I'm letting you know that my guest room and bathroom is a thousand percent open for you to stay in while you're in town. You need to get your own transportation to and from your appointments and provide your own food while you're here. Anything else I cannot do. Use your thinking brain. If I have to Uber six times there and back and it's an hour away, it'll cost as much as getting a hotel next door. What part of saving money do you not understand? The part where you want me to take you 10 hours plus out of my work scattered on different days, short notice, doing an extremely busy week. That's the part I don't understand. I'm even extending my vehicle to you to use. Bring a friend with a driver's license and have them drive you with my car to your appointments. Wow, laugh out loud. Okay, let me just pay a ticket for someone to come to Miami with me for free. This is insane. Now, what am I going to do? Everything has been scheduled and paid for. Okay, so a little story to this. The lady says that her friend who told her sister-in-law, this lady with the BBL appointment, that she could stay there may have embellished and told her that she could stay there and that she also agreed to take her on all of these trips to and from the doctor's office and everything else. She says that that is absolutely not true. And personally, the way the lady spoke to her in those text messages, there is no way that we would have continued that conversation. I would have immediately told her, find you somewhere to be. Okay, if you saved up all this money for this BBL, you should have saved up enough money for your hotel, your to and from the airport, all of that other shit. This is not my responsibility. Take that shit up with David, your husband. Okay, that is ridiculous. Okay, ask David for more than a hundred bucks. As soon as she made that comment, use your thinking brain. I would have lost it on her. Text messages would have stopped. I would have dialed her up and lit her ass up. Who the hell are you talking to like that? You are the one who needs me. I don't need you. Then the whole, what are you guys eating? Honey, we're eating what we paid for. The same way you'll eat what the fuck you pay for. Oh, that just pissed me off. I mean, she's not even thinking about what this cost this lady. You are asking her to take time out of her busy day you are asking her to use her PTO. You are also asking her to use her car and her gas. And then you also want her to pay for your food, make your food. What? She doesn't even know you. She doesn't owe you shit. You are entitled, spoiled, and broke. Okay, if you cannot afford the whole package, the whole package includes the surgery and the airfare, and the hotel accommodations, and the trip to and fro, and the damn food, then you shouldn't be having this procedure. You need to reach out to the doctor's office and let them know that you'll need to reschedule when you have enough money to pay for the rest of it. I mean, damn, that really just pissed me off. It just lets you know that she is also very immature and unorganized. How the hell is it that you can pay for this entire procedure? and not have the rest of the details worked out. You wait until a couple of days before your procedure to ask your sister-in-law to ask her friend to do you a favor? Oh no, I think this lady was way too damn nice. She was way too damn nice. At this point, I would not only tell this lady to find somewhere to be, I would also cut off the friend. No ma'am, no ma'am. Clearly you have sold this lady a bill of goods without giving me the full details. Friendship over. I'm done. Both of you are lame as hell for thinking that I am supposed to just drop everything for the both of you. Uh-uh. I'm out. Get in the comments, peeps. Let me know what you think. And until next time, bye.